morning everybody sorry we look a little rough right now we just got up but carissa's wheels are finally here from japan you may have seen on instagram i don't think we've really shown them too much on the youtube channel uh but we did get a temporary set for the time being but we didn't actually have to have them on for that long and now we're just set fedex and picking up the new wheels. Everybody left about probably half an hour ago. Okay. So it probably won't be back till like five. Oh, you don't get your new wheels today. You do though. Who said an S2000 couldn't be practical? Wheels are here. He actually showed up in his own personal vehicle, so I would have been waiting a long time if I was waiting for a UPS truck, but wheels are here. Hopefully I can manage to get these in the passenger seat. Go get these mounted up. First, it's hot out. Just what I need. Yeah, that'll work. Success. I mean, this will work. Can't see where I'm going. guys well um, when I went to work I was able to leave for a little while to go get my wheels there's one of them I've already unloaded the other three um, Tadashi is at work right now of course so I'm here by myself and I am going to unwrap one of these so we can see what they look like Just as amazing on the car. So. Alright, so it's currently the next day, and going off of what you guys last saw was Carissa unwrapping her new work wheels for the FRS. I got one right there. This is one of the rears. Look at that lip. We got them painted to match the car. Purple and teal or, or turquoise or whatever you want to call it. And it'll change a little bit as you go. But she put the front ones on last night. Those are looking good. This is fully aired out right now. So I actually need to go in, take the wheels off, lift it up, lower the bags a little bit so we can tuck a little bit more. And then I'm also going to need to adjust the negative camber on it as well because if we go more than another half inch, we're gonna be rubbing right here. So I need to adjust that so we can tuck it fully. This setup is quite a bit more aggressive because we are not running any spacers anymore to get these to fit. Another update. I got my over fenders back and those are now paint matched to the car. So I'll be putting those back on today so my car doesn't look like a junker rolling down the street. And then at some point today, I should be going to pick up my front wheels and get those mounted on here. And then the S2000 will be done for today. Well, you know, it's springtime in Minnesota. Look at all that pollen. 
and it's only gonna get worse. We're ready for the big engine reveal. Oh, stock. I swear, everybody needs an air ride. It makes working on your car so much easier. Look at that ground clearance now. You can get a jack under here. Do an oil change without actually driving up on the ramps or anything, which is the other thing we're going to do today. Some basic maintenance on here. Once I get this all dialed in, and once I get the call that my wheels are done, then I'll go pick up oil for this and for the S2000. And we're also our uh, controller for the airlift system died on us. Couldn't use it, couldn't press any buttons, so we had to get it on the iPad for in the car so we could actually control it, because this weekend we're gonna be going down to the cities to get the Venom Rally livery installed on here. They're wanting to do a photo and video shoot of the car. We were stuck at fully aired up. No bueno. So I need to actually need to relieve the pressure from the bag so I need to completely air out in the front loosen up this lock ring move it up spin the bag to drop it down and in order to do all that I'm actually going to need to remove my air lines here but I have to air out on the system first before I start on that otherwise could have some issues first thing that I'm gonna do is adjust the camber and we can go a little bit more negative camber on there so I'm gonna do that as much as I am not about that stance life if it gives us better fitment then it needs to be done I'm gonna air out here and see where it's sitting at Oh yeah, now she'll tuck in there. And hopefully it'll clear right there. Let's see how much lower can I go? So let's do it. All right, so I lowered this side an inch on the bags themselves. So basically what you need to do is wherever you have your lines ran, once you fully, you, you can air out when it's jacked up. Just get it to the lowest PSI possible on the ones that are off the ground. If you're just doing it one end at a time, if you have it on jack stands, then you can do them all four. But you disconnect the air line, bring this steel braided line down because when you're twisting this, this is gonna twist with it. So you wanna just go slow and make sure not to kink this, make sure not to drag it across anything that's gonna be sharp that could possibly puncture it. And then just loosen this lock ring up, get it up to about roughly where you wanna drop it to, spin this, and you can just spin this by your hand, or the way that I found that's easiest is you take your dampening adjuster off, and then it's a 17 mil nut. Put a ratchet on there, spin that while using your other hand to grab this and spin it as well. And then it goes actually pretty quick. And then once you get it to the height that you want, make sure that your line is where you need it. I just put mine right in the very back. That way it's out of the way of anything up here. Reroute it, tighten the lock ring back up, and then you're done. So we're gonna go ahead and do this other side, match it up, get the wheels back on, and then make sure to readjust your height settings or the pressure settings 
on the bags because if you lower it and your lowest setting was where you wanted it before now you could potentially bottom out you could run into the fender anything else like that so make sure to readjust that to the height that you're going to be at now the other thing i want to note here quick is these threads if these aren't brand new these threads are going to be dirty from driving and if you go to try to loosen this up there's going to be dirt and little rocks in there and it's going to grind you're either not going to be able to spin this very easily or you're not going to be able to spin it at all so clean these threads up Look at that. Just look at it. Color flip wheels, color flip wrap. Wasn't too sure on how it was gonna look. If it was gonna be too much. But, I don't know. Galaxy S10 Plus. All right, now that I'm all hot and sweaty, put this out on the street. I'll adjust the presets for the air ride so it matches the new setup along with lowering it an inch in the front. But that's, that's what the ride height is that I have it set to, which I think that'll be fine. And I stiffened up the dampening on the front just so there's less travel, less potential for it to rub or anything, but God damn. So stoked. Well guys, short video this time, but I just wanted to show you the new work wheels that we got for the FRS. The next thing on the agenda is getting the over fenders put back on the S2000 so it's not looking like a hoopty. But one last thing before we go here. Let's get one last look. Oh! So good. And the car cover fits, so that's good. Make sure to like the video, comment on it, any questions, any comments, anything like that. We love hearing from you guys. Makes us feel really good. We're still a really small channel, but we got big dreams and hopefully one day we can make them happen. We're making dreams happen all the time. Catch you guys next time.